I made cinnamon rolls out of my yeast infection and I have to say, they turned out pretty damn So this is just a warning before we actually get into this video. Um, some people may find this video a little bit uh, <laughs> disturbing, uh, you know, to say the least. And, um, you know, this is why I feel, you know, men need to make sure that they know how to cook or, you know, if not, make sure to get all of whatever your needs are for eating um, directly from a restaurant because uh, this ain't it. I made cinnamon rolls out of my yeast infection and I have to say, they turned out pretty damn good. These are actually what I gave my husband for Valentine's Day. It's cinnamon rolls made from not only the yeast for my yeast infection, but also my breast milk. So it's like really natural. Um, and when he tried it, he noticed immediately that it tasted a little different than they normally do when I make him cinnamon rolls. And he was like, what did you do differently? Uh, it's really good and I said actually it was my yeast infection and breast milk you know um one thing I will say is they taste like almost like sourdough like they're a little more sour than like a normal cinnamon roll would be and I think that's due to it being like yeast from my body but overall I mean they're good he liked them um he did say they were different but like not in a bad way. So we're just going to go the educational route directly on this. They said that oral thrush is a condition in which the fungus accumulates on the lining of your mouth and is a normal organism in your mouth, but sometimes it can overgrow and cause symptoms. Oral thrush causes creamy white lesions, usually on your tongue or inner cheeks. Sometimes oral thrush may spread to the roof of your mouth, your gums or tonsils or the back of your throat. Although oral thrush can affect anyone, it's more likely to occur in babies and older adults because they have reduced immunity in other people with suppressed immune systems or certain health conditions or people who take certain medications. Oral thrush is a minor problem if you're healthy, but if you have a weakened immune system, symptoms may be more severe and difficult to control. This is why you should not make cinnamon rolls or any baked goods out of your yeast infection. I just wanna do some damage control because I know I came on here and said I made cinnamon rolls out of my yeast infection and they turned out really good and they did, they tasted really good. But we consumed them and two days later, these white spots start popping up, popping up on mine and my husband's tongue and I'm Googling what that means and it says it's oral thrush, which is essentially a yeast infection for your mouth. And the reason we have it is because we consumed my yeast infection. So what I thought was a very special Valentine's gift, uh, truly a pastry made with love from things that came from my body, turned out to be the present of oral thrush. And it's not fun having it. It's not the most comfortable thing to live with. It's kind of painful. And I just feel so, so bad for giving it to my husband. And I'm thinking I need to make it up to him in some way. Now, I would, con I would make a pastry out of my breast milk again, but the, the yeast is just not worth it. Just go buy yeast from the grocery store. And if you want to, you can just lie and say it is your yeast infection that's in it, but um, it's definitely not worth it. Anyway, I just wanted to come on here because I felt obligated to do that damage control because I know a lot of you look up to me and are influenced by me and we're thinking about trying that just because I did, but don't do it. Symptoms in children and adults. Initially, you may not have noticed symptoms of oral thrush. Signs and symptoms may include one, creamy white lesions on your tongue, inner cheek, and sometimes on the roof of your mouth, gums, and or tonsil. Number two, slightly raised lesions with a cottage cheese-like appearance. Number three, redness, burning, or soreness that may be severe enough to cause difficulty in eating or swallowing. Number four, slight bleeding if the lesions are rubbed or scraped. Number five, cracking and redness at the corners of your mouth. Number six, a cottony feeling in your mouth. Number seven, loss of taste. Number eight, redness, irritation, and pain under dentures. Now, I want to note that seeing this for the very first time is very, very disturbing. I was very caught off guard. 
I did not know uh, specifically what to think for about five minutes, maybe even 10. It made me second guess a lot of things directly in life. And it made me question a lot of things when women are actually cooking, right? Now, when going directly to her page after the first initial, um, you know, listening of both clips, underneath some of the clips, it does say satire, right? Because we have people online that decide to state that, hey, I want to sit up there and just say anything crazy and all of these other things just to do whatever it is and to get views and yada, 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 right? Someone also make that a note. But I also want to note that there is a very serious thing such as women using bodily fluids and putting it in foods um, in order to cause certain things such as spells or whatever it is that they just so happen to believe in. If you don't believe me on that, they have tons of videos out there where women are teaching or trying to teach other women on how to do certain types of magics in order to get the things that you want or in order to cause a certain type of spell. So again, this woman here, she did say that it was satire, but it doesn't take away from the fact that you do have women out here who will use bodily fluids in order to perform some type of craft um, that they feel is going to give them the things that they want um, out of life or to potentially curse a, another person, right? So again, I wanted to bring this up because I found this um, very odd, Ali. <laughs> You know, like I said, I I don't really know what to tell you um, because there's been other videos that I have put out that are not just social media that are taking place in real life where mainstream has covered it and told you like, hey, people are doing this with their bodily fluids. Right. It, it wasn't too long ago that there was a cop that decided to put his own specimens directly into some baked goods and give those directly to kids. So, again, I don't want people to just think that stories like this don't exist, that things like this don't happen because they do. Just because you see somebody doing some, you know, type of thing, trying to get views and whatnot, doesn't mean that you don't have real people actually doing these things.